Φίλοι και φίλες, γεια σας. Καλώς ήρθατε σε ένα ακόμα επεισόδιο. Οκ, οκ, I understand it sounds all Greek to you. And today I'm going to rectify that. My name is Tam, welcome to the Greekosophy channel. And today I'm going to teach you how to properly read and pronounce Greek in just a single day. Okay then, uh, you might have been shocked by today's introduction, uh, but yes, today I'm going to attempt to teach you how to read and pronounce Greek properly, even if you haven't done that before, uh, in just a single day. Uh, so make sure you have your pens and papers on the ready, uh, and there's going to be a lot of posing today. Now, um, today's video is going to be uh, split into four separate parts. Uh, so therefore, this part you're watching is part one, and I'm going to be uploading the next parts uh, throughout the week, hopefully uh, to be able to have finished it um, within a week. Uh, so even though I say you're going to be able to read and pronounce within a day, that means that if you collect and watch all four parts uh, in a single day, uh, and provided that you're determined to do so and spend a few hours and by the end of the 24 hour period you will be able to do that. Now just a bit of a background, uh, I'm not a professional teacher or, or anything like that uh, but I have tried this method with um, some of my non-Greek friends uh, and as I said depending on how determined they were uh, some of them managed to do it, some of them did not. Did not. Um, what I cannot promise you is that you will be able to read Greek and understand the, the meaning of it. Uh, but that most probably will come later on uh, in other videos. Um, but it's a good start to be able to see, for example, a menu written in Greek uh, and be able to pronounce uh, uh, the dishes. Um, the reason for that uh, and why we believe or I believe it's quite easy uh, to do is because, uh, I'm hoping I'm using the correct term, uh, the Greek alphabet is phonetic, uh, which means that if you know how each letter is pronounced, then you can see a Greek word, even though you don't understand what it means, but by seeing the letters and pronouncing the correct way, you actually pronounce the whole word. Uh, so it's not as if, like in English, for example, you see a letter um, in a specific word, it's pronounced a certain way, but if it's in another word, it's pronounced differently. Uh, in Greece, this is very rare but I will get to that later on in, in this series. Uh, but for now, all you need to uh, worry about is plenty of paper, uh, a couple of pens, and let's begin. Right, this is the first of four parts of this particular video on how to read and properly pronounce Greek uh, in a day. Um, now, I'm hoping that uh, at the end of the fourth part, you will be able to read what you see written in Greek in your screen right now and be able to correctly pronounce them. Uh, as I go along, I will be uh, showing you a few tips as well with regards to pronunciation and reading. Uh, but also it is important to let you know that uh, I haven't used PowerPoint for quite some time now. Um, and as I was doing this on the go, um, some of the things are quite messy. Uh, for example, uh, putting everything in one line. Uh, but you will see, you will see what I mean. Now, let's move quickly to the first part then. I hope that your screen is uh, fine. Uh, right, uh, the Greek alphabet, first of all, it consists of 24 letters, so two letters short of the British alphabet. Um, on this episode, on the first episode, we're going to learn the 10 first letters. Uh, so we're not going to read the whole alphabet. Um, beautiful, lovely Greek C here. And these are the 24 letters. Now, most probably it's all Greek to you at this point in time, uh, but don't worry about it. Um, I'm hoping to uh, rectify this. Uh, as I said, we're gonna learn about the first 
10 letters today and at the end of this video I'm going to give you a, a little exercise to do uh, which the answers yeah, I'm, are going to be shown at the beginning of the second part uh, of the video but let's move on uh, and right we start with the first letter and this letter I will show you now um, how I'm going to present them so this is the letter alpha uh, it's pronounced alpha as in alpha male and a picture there for you to remember now the first letter is the capital alpha obviously and the second letter is the small alpha now in Greece and it's very important to know this uh, the easy part about uh, the Greek language and the Greek alphabet is that in the majority of times, well, 90% of the times, once you know how each letter is pronounced, you are able to pronounce a word as well, even if you don't know what it means. And the reason for that is that most of the times, um, when you, you know, no matter how many letters there are in a word, etc., as long as you pronounce each letter properly, uh, you pronounce the whole word. Um, just to explain, for example, in the British language, you have letter A. However, you pronounce it different in the word tag, and you pronounce it different in the word air, um, so, or male, let's say, for example. Uh, but in Greece, if you see the letter alpha, you always pronounce it as A, in, as in word tag, lad, and obviously because, as you know, I'm a, a Liverpool supporter and we are now officially champions, Premier League champions, uh, I'm going to use some of uh, Liverpool players uh, to help you, if you're a Liverpool supporter, remembering the correct pronunciation. So letter alpha is pronounced A, always when you see it. Moving on to the second letter. Now this is the letter Vita, as in Rai Vita. That's how you correctly pronounced it, Vita. And when you see it in a word, it's pronounced v, v, as in very, van or van dyke. The third letter is the letter gamma. Now, I've, I've written gamma rays because you pronounce it gamma, but in Greece it's actually g, g, gamma, not g, g. Uh, I know that it will be a bit of a test uh, for you to pronounce it. Uh, Imagine the word yellow, and I will say now, imagine the word yellow, that's how you pronounce it, g, not g, g. Ron Yitz, for example, g, uh, ye, ye, you know, that's, that's how you pronounce the letter gamma, y, y. Okay then, fourth letter, and another one that uh, most probably you know from your math classes, is the letter delta. Now, I'm written again delta airlines, because in... English you pronounce it as in delta, as in d, but if you see the letter delta, it's pronounced th, as in there and then. I couldn't remember a Liverpool player starting with the letter th, so if you know any, please comment, comment in the comments below, let me know, and I will add it, I will happily add it. So, this is the fourth letter, delta, pronounced th. Moving on to the fifth letter, and that's the letter Epsilon. Uh, the easy way to remember the pronunciation, Epsilon, and you don't start with the P and you don't end with the G, Epsilon, Epsilon. And when you see it in a Greek word, it's pronounced E, as in bed, get, Elliot. Okay? And the sixth letter is letter Zeta, Catherine Zeta Jones. And is it remember? When you see it, it's pronounced Z, as in Zu, Zip, and Zige. And moving on is the letter Ita. And as in Nikita, the album from Elton John and the single. Nikita, Ita, Ita. And if you see it, it's pronounced I, as in fit, beat, and Inks. I know he's no longer a Liverpool player, but hey, why not? Okay, uh, next letter is the letter Theta. Another one from your geometry classes. The Theta angle, when we don't know how many degrees an angle is, and we name it Theta. 
And when you see it in a Greek word, it's always pronounced th, as in theme, theory. And remember, different to how you pronounced delta, which is there and then, this is th, not the, it's th, theta, theme, theory. Ninth letter is letter Yota, as in Toyota, Yota. Now, this is one of the parts that you have to remember as well. It is also pronounced E, as in feet, beat, and inks. Remember previously the Ita, Nikita, Ita letter? Yota is also pronounced as E. And we will find another letter as well. We have three letters, and also we have some combinations of letters, that when you see them in the word, they're pronounced E. Okay, so the easy part is if you see them, any of those three, you always remember to pronounce it E. The difficulty is when you actually write in Greek to remember which one of the three you write. But this is about learning to read and pronounce Greek, not write in Greek. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. And finally, the tenth letter is the letter Kappa, as in Kappa Sportswear. And this pretty much like the British K is pronounced K as in Keen, Kit, and our great Jürgen Klopp. Right then, this is the first 10 letters of the Greek alphabet and how to pronounce them. Now, as I said uh, before, I hope you kept a bit of pen and paper so you've written down what I've given you already. Uh, because I have now some exercises for you. And the exercises is I'm going to give you some words and you're going to write them down. And looking at your notes, you're going to try and see whether you're going to pronounce them correctly. Okay? Now, these words that I'm going to give you only contain the first 10 letters. So you don't have to worry about any other letters uh, in, in the Greek alphabet. It, they only contain the first 10 letters. Okay then, time for your first test, folks. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you nine Greek words. Let me just put them quickly up on your screen. These are the nine words. Now, I've only used words that contain only the first ten letters of the Greek alphabet, because those are the letters that you already know. Uh, and I want you basically to uh, pause your video and have a go uh, with regards to how you pronounce them. Now, before you do that, I would like to uh, tell you something else which is very important. Uh, if you see here in some words, there is a tone above some of the letters. Now, this tone, or tonos as we call it in Greece, you will only see it above vowels written in small letters. Okay, You will not see it above capital letters, unless it's the first letter in the word. Um, now, what this tone is, and it's going to be very helpful with regards to uh, trying to pronounce the word, is the tone uh, gives the, an indication of where the emphasis on your pronunciation will be. Uh, for example, on this particular word, the emphasis will be on this particular letter, or on the first syllable. Uh, if you're confused, let's take the word Liverpool, uh, for example. And let's imagine that you were using Greek tones uh, in order to uh, see how the correct pronunciation of the word would be. Now, if the tone was on the letter I, which is pretty much where it is anyway, the correct pronunciation of the word would be Liverpool. So in the first syllable, that's where the emphasis would be, which is where it is right now. But if the tone was on the letter E, and therefore in the second syllable, the correct pronunciation of the word would have been Liverpool, not Liverpool, Liverpool in the second syllable. And if the tone was in the letter O, the pronunciation would have been Liverpool, Liverpool, not Liverpool, not Liverpool, Liverpool. I hope kind of uh, help you make some sense of it, um, but I will help you as we go along. So for now, press pause, uh, have a go, and then press play again when you feel that you're ready.
Okay then, I hope that you find it a little bit easy. And now I'm going to take each word step by step to help you with the pronunciation and see how it went for you. So we're going to start with the first letter. Now, the first letter is delta, which if you remember is pronounced the, as in then. With the second letter being the letter yota, which is pronounced i, as in fit. Third letter is pronounced k, as in kit. And the last letter, again, is pronounced E, as in fit. So if we put them together, it's the, e, k, e, viki, viki. And again, uh, the emphasis is on the first um, syllable, viki. I don't know why it disappeared. There we go. So the emphasis on the, on the first syllable, viki. Uh, don't con get confused by the British uh, <laughs> writing here, or by the English writing here, sorry. Um, uh, you have two tones here, but look at the Greek word, it's on the first syllable. If the tone was on the second syllable, the pronunciation would not have been viki, it would have been viki. Okay? But this is viki, which in Greece, in, Greece, uh, in Greek, means trial. So I hope that uh, you correctly pronounced it. And let's move to the second word. Again, the first letter, which is r, as in yeah. The second one is A, as in tag. The third one, Z, as in zip. And the fourth one, again, A, as in tag. So you have R, A, Z, A, Gaza. Okay, Gaza. And again, the pronunciation on the first syllable. Okay, and this is what Gaza is. Now, this is the third word, very easy one. Again, R as in year, and I as in fit, so ye. No need to worry about the tone here. There's only one vowel, only one syllable, ye, and it's earth. Moving on, there's a capital letter. No need to worry about that. It's pretty much pronounced uh, as normal. So the first word pronounced V as in van, then we have E as in fit. Then we have the as in then. And then A as in tag. So we have vida, vida. Pronunciation again in the first syllable, vida. Again, if the tone was in the second syllable, it will be vida. But this one is on the first syllable, so it's vida. And vida means screw. Now, this particular word is almost the same as the previous one, vida. The only difference being on the first letter. So that is why I've written the last three letters uh, as they were before. And the difference is that instead of the letter vita, v, we have the letter gamma, which is r, ye. So this time, instead of vida, it's yida. Okay, not v, but r, yida which is a goat. Next word, maybe that might have slightly um, confused you, I don't know, we'll see. Now, first letter is easy, the letter E as in fit, then we have the letter TH as in theme, then another E as in fit, then K as in kit, and A as in tag. So we go slowly, Ithika. Now, you see now, the, the tone is in the last letter, last syllable, so the pronunciation and the emphasis is on the last syllable, so it's Ithika. Not Ithika, not Ithika, but Ithika. Now, I will give you another clue, another tip as well. In the Greek language, only the last syllable or the syllable before the last, or the third syllable from the end, receive an emphasis. Or, okay? So, for example, if you have a word with four syllables, the first syllable is never gonna be the the, 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 four, the first syllable is never gonna have the emphasis on its pronunciation there. It's gonna be one of the three last syllables at the end. Okay? So that's one thing to remember as well. Uh, but on this one, it's on the last syllable, ithika, okay, which means morally. 
And this one, <laughs> this one you will be better, <laughs> easier to pronounce if you have a couple of drinks, I think. Okay, so we have letter V as in van, G as in ye, so already you can see the difficulty here, V, G, V, G, E as in fit, K as in kit, and A as in tag. So, Vyika, Vyika. It is a bit difficult, uh, if you're not Greek, to uh, pronounce it. Vyika, with the emphasis again on the letter E, Vyika, which means I went out. And one word more, V as in van, A as in tag, Z as in zip, and E as in get, and that will be vase, vase, the emphasis on the letter A, A, vase, alpha, which means keep putting, okay, keep putting, vase, or keep pouring, as the photo shows, okay, so if somebody is pouring some wine or some drinks to you, and you want for them to keep going, say vase, 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 keep putting, and another word, which starts with the, as in then, then we have e, as in get, k, as in kit, and a, as in tag. So we have the, e, k, a, veka, the emphasis on the first syllable, veka, veka, which is ten. I don't know why it's repeated it again, sorry about that. Like I said... Uh, me first time after so many years on PowerPoint. Right, well done everybody, to those of you who got all of them correctly. Um, if you didn't manage to get everyone correctly, don't worry, there will be plenty of examples, plenty of tests to uh, take you uh, to uh, uh, the, uh, the target <laughs> that I've set, but you will, in a day, if you uh, put your mind and your effort to it, you will be able to uh, pronounce correctly uh, Greek words. Okay, so give yourselves a really big pat in the back, and uh, in the second video, we're going to continue with the next 10 Greek letters, followed then by more tests, and then the third video will have the remaining of the letters with even more tests, and then the last video will give you uh, some combinations of letters that if you see them together, it's a slightly different pronunciation. But well done, everybody. And I will see you in the second episode of this series. So that's the end of the first part of the series. I, I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, I hope you understand now how the method works. And have a bit of a rest and keep an eye for the second part. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon.